It's my wine. Hello, guys and girls. Uh, I'm going to present you It's My Wine and the work we got done uh, over this weekend. Uh, we were a very cool team uh, of six people. Uh, Luca, Giano, Andre, Marek, Michael, and me. Uh, I have to say it was a very talented team and I was glad to work with them. Uh, let's get uh, straight to the problem. Uh, when I'm in buying wine, either online or uh, in a store, uh, I'm always facing the problem of having way too many wines uh, to choose from. Um, I kind of know if I taste the wine in the glass, I kind of know um, if I like the wine or not, but I can't tell it from the bottle. So we want to solve this problem by creating a platform that creates or that learns your taste, uh, and then um, when you're facing your next purchase of your bottle, it helps you uh, pick the bottle. Uh, it, in addition, it also helps you to track the bottles you loved, so you can go and go back in history and see the bottles that you liked. Uh, like I said, it creates your taste graph, uh, and it uh, lets us assist you with the next purchase. Uh, the technology is, of course, uh, a very simple uh, algorithm that uh, takes the characteristics of the wine and also the people, people matching and figures out your taste graph. Uh, as for the marketing, right now we're considering two options. One of them is a wide label service for uh, online stores with wine. Uh, essentially, it's an API. Uh, after you purchase the wine, we then send you uh, a, a feedback form or an email where you're able to rate the wines, um, and then um, we send you back to the store. Uh, it's, an, it's a benefit for the stores because um, it helps them grow the retention rate as it sends the people back to the store to buy some more wine that is personalized to them. Uh, right now, there's around 2,119 online stores in the USA. I don't have the exact number for Europe, but I would think there's the number is kind of similar. Um, the other idea we have is uh, an end client uh, where you uh, snap a bottle that you like. We, are, we then do a picture recognition of the bottle, uh, so you're building uh, an inventory of the bottles you had. Uh, and of course, we're able to recognize the bottles that you like and suggest you more bottles. Um, let me jump very fast to the demo. So this is what we got done uh, over this weekend. Uh, imagine that um, you go through three questions. Um, I drink red wine usually. Um, I'm more in the average kind of category of wines, uh, and I do like the big and spicy wines. Um, it automatically suggests me. Uh, these are, of course, just the basic suggestions because we don't yet know what kind of wines uh, you actually like. You haven't drank any. Uh, but this is the very basic suggestion. Um, we also worked on a mobile version uh, right here. Um, so this w this would be the one where you're snapping pictures of uh, the wines. Uh, there is a platform for doing picture recognition of the label of the wine. You then rate the wine if you liked it. It was kind of like this or you hated it. Um, as for the market validation, uh, the, the consumption of wine is growing. Uh, over the span of 2006 to 2009 in the USA, it grew by 4.5% and the UK by 6.1%. And in the US last year, it was a $30 billion uh, market. Um, so just to sum up, um, we want to build a recommendation system uh, that helps you with your purchase of the wine. Um, it's based on the wine you actually drink and the wine you actually like. So it's not based on just your purchase decision. Uh, as for the competitors, uh, well, there is, uh, for instance, Snooth or AG Wines or Hello Wine or Wine Notes, uh, but none of these actually do recommendations. They have reviews, they have other things, but none of them do actual recommendations. Uh, uh, right now, we work on the algorithm. It's in the works, I would say. There's uh, a lot more to be done. Uh, we have a very basic front end, and uh, we are beginning to talk to customers. Um, and uh, in the future, we want to tweak that algorithm and, of course, uh, launch as soon our minimum viable product and uh, get to the market as fast as fast as we can. Uh, so really, to sum up, uh, the business model is either a wide label platform or an end customer mobile app. Thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much. It's my wine. Questions from the jury? Hello? Oh, okay.
So, so my question is, how are you going to generate the money? Well, in the sorry, in the first business uh, model where you're we, where we have a wide label, we would charge a portion of the of the sales uh, of the store uh, that we actually uh, generate from sending people back to the store. So the person gets an email with uh, the bottles that they purchased. Uh, they rate the bottles, and if they we recommend them new bottles if they come back to the store, purchase the bottle, then we get a premium out of that. So may you mention some of the first customers in your view? Let's say, who are you going to approach? Well, one of them is sitting right next to you. Uh, I know that you <laughs> uh, has uh, a wine store. In Slovakia, there's um, several other clients, so we would like to kind of sandbox the idea here in Slovakia and then maybe move uh, out internationally. Okay, yeah, you could, I could be the first customer. The problem is that I still think that you have a long way to, 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 to go because, you know, the, as you mentioned, there are, there are so many wines, you know, in, in the world that, and they are changing every year. You know, it's, it's like every year you have a new part of the, of the, of the stock. Uh, my my problem is that uh, you know you mentioned that there are like really lot of wine shops, but only one or two in every country is profit profitable. So I do not think that you have a critical mass uh, for for your uh, market. So probably your business model would be somewhere else. Yeah. So for the first part of your question, uh, one of the possible uh, solutions to this would be to let the system run and learn uh, in the background uh, for a certain period of time without any suggestions, and then launch as soon as we have data. Uh, it's true that as for the stores that are actually profitable, but it's definitely not 100% of the stores that are, um, say, in the U.S. Uh, so that's why we are looking into other business models, say, an end a customer model or maybe a combination of both. Just uh, this uh, like uh, virtual intelligence or uh, like uh, artificial intelligence would be the way in my, in my eyes. You know? Yeah, I would agree. Uh, will I be able to create my own profile based on the previous uh, experience? So uh, I bought last year 20 bottles of this and that and that. And afterward, when I am coming to the shop, wine shop, I will just, okay, uh, send a message, okay, this bottle is fitting to my taste or not? Yeah, yeah. You, you, I think you nailed it. This is it. Uh, you will be able to do that. So you will have a history of the bottles. You will be able to skim through the history. And of course, if you approach a bottle, uh, we will tell you if the bottle fits your taste or not. So I don't need to make a purchase history, but no, my no, 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 no. fine tasting history. That's, that's the main difference. So we yeah. tell this information to you before the purchase. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. It's my wine. Thank you.